Oh yeah, it's a what a story. it's a what a what a horrifying story. It's <laughs> my heart beats every time I say it. What what the context of uh, going how in the interview with Dave? Just how I got hired. Yeah. So I got hired when um it was like five years ago. It was late August 2016. Hey, let's put your head back on. Sorry. I have, I have shitty hair. I know you're not gonna tell me, but uh, I know. Jesus Christ! I mean, uh, I'm no fucking Caleb, but I know I got shitty hair. It's a kid show, man. But uh, so I got hired like five years ago. It was late August. I remember I was laying in bed one night, and uh, Erica tweets out that we need New York interns. And they're moving to New York from Boston. So I instantly lay in my bed. I fucking reply quickly, and I'm emailing Erica. Or at least what I thought is Erica. I was emailing Erica at Barstool Sports. It really wasn't Erica. It was like our manager, our office manager, Brett. Great guy. Shout out Brad, I haven't seen him in a while. And um, he was the one like doing like setting up the interviews, obviously. I don't know why. Yeah, but I actually thought Erica was the one like emailing interns. <laughs> but um <laughs> so I go in for an intern interview. This was uh September 16th, 2016, got the interview, thank God. And I have no idea. Once again, I still think I'm emailing Erica. So I think this is a full blown business interview. Like I wore like a button down shirt and You're looking um, good. No. You're ready to I get try. the job. I know I don't I don't dress fancy. Not that you didn't look good, but you're trying. Yeah, like, like I remember I did a there. uh one of the things I wrote in my resume was that I did like the blazing challenge at Buffalo Wild Wings. So then they wrote back, wear the blazing shirt with the button. I wore a button down over that. So I, I ready for the day. And this was when I, I actually transferred to a school in the city. So I was going to a uh, business school in Manhattan on 23rd in Lexington, Baruch. And I had a miserable schedule out of Tuesday, Thursday, 7 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, 7 a.m. But then the Monday, Wednesday class would have like a 20 minute meetup on Fridays from 11 to 11 20. And my whole life, my mom has been off on Friday. She doesn't work on Fridays. So she would drive me to the city, wait in the car. I'd go to the 20 minute thing, and then we'd just get a nice, wonderful lunch in Manhattan somewhere, you know? Adorable. Maybe a little Katz's Deli, some mother yeah. son time. So she drove me that day to college, to school or whatever, then drove me to the office, lets me out, and I'm like, listen, drive away. Don't stay here, drive away. So I go up there to the interview. It was so, so, so scary. Our new office, obviously, you've been to the new office, right? Mm-hmm. It's nice. You walk in, there's a lobby. The old office, you get off the elevator, you're just in the mix. You're just staring at people. I remember I made eye contact with Fiderberg and I freaked the fuck out because I was a big Barstool fan. Like I had the Barstool flag, the sweatshirt. I was a big Barstool guy. It was fucking horrifying. You walk in and then, speaking of mind, I forgot to mention. It's like a haunted house for Glennie right dude, now. Dude, I forgot to mention. Uh, so I'm looking at Snapchat, the Barstool Snapchat, and I see Caleb interviewing people. This like, is on your way. Yeah, on my way there. I forgot to say that. And I see Caleb interviewing people, like jokingly doing it for content. I had no idea. I still think this is a business interview. And then on the way there, I see that and I'm like, holy shit. And he's in a I'm suit. so scared. I'm about to get got. Yeah. So I'm fucking horrified. I go up there. I sit down with Caleb, and thank God, this great guy Matt. Uh, now we know. Now he texted Caleb, just the next guy you see, asking if he's fast. So Caleb just randomly asked me if I'm fast, and I was like, dude, you know what? For my size, I am pretty fucking fast. Like when I'm whenever I'm playing softball, people are shocked how quick I get down the line. Like for my size, I'm pretty pretty fast. So Caleb was, just goes to me. Let's prove it. We go down to Street 27th Street, and I'm. Not only am I freaking out about like meeting Caleb and doing all that, like what if my mom's still outside in the car? <laughs> Elevator opens, we get outside. She didn't fucking move. She's right there. Like I'm like, please don't say it. Please don't say anything. Please don't say anything. Please don't say anything. Like in the video of me running down the street, you can see my mom's car. Like it's right there. And I'm sitting there, holy fuck. Thank God I ran down the street and Caleb was like, You're fast, you're hired. And then I'm like, Okay, sounds good. He but he says, You gotta go talk to Dave. He brings us into Dave. I talked to Dave, which was obviously horrifying. Like, it's, <laughs> he's very intimidating. I'm st- I've known him for five years. He's a wonderful guy. He's one of my favorite people. I'm still fucking petrified of him. Yeah. But, uh, and thank God we did that. He said, Caleb's your boss. You're hired. And then also, thank God to no end, as I'm walking out, Gaz just goes, uh, Do you have any nicknames? And I was like, Oh, well, my friends call me Glenny Balls. And thank God. Thank God that stuck. If I don't, let me tell you, I don't know what the fuck I'd be. I didn't even have a major. I was a junior in college. I didn't have a major because I transferred and I was so bad at math. Yeah. I had to take remedial math to then even take a class to then get a major. So it was bad. So it all worked out. Thank God. I truly don't <laughs> yeah, I truly think, don't know what I'd be doing. This like, story should be called Thank God. Like I have 10, me and my friends are in like a 10 person group chat. They're all accountants. I'm not cut out to be an accountant. I don't yeah. know what the fuck I'd be doing. So once is, again, uh, Ca- is Caleb still your boss? I guess in a way. Theoretically, yeah. I mean, during football season, we do Sunday conversation. I'm just on the road with him all the time, so I guess theoretically, he's the boss. What's it been? What's it? What was it like? Like, you know, you were nervous around them, meeting him for the interviews and stuff like that. Like, how's that? How's your mental on him? 
an idea of him shifted since working Caleb? working with him. Oh, he's a great guy, but he, he he's me and him we and him live very separate lives on the road, you know? Yeah. Like he, he likes to hang out, he likes to golf, and I like to full systems go. But I mean he's wonderful. He's a, You go out on your own. Yeah, that's one thing the Sunday conversation that's wild. has taught me. I've I have learned to go out alone. I've learned to just the right places though. Like I could go in like whenever we go to Miami, I stay in Delray Beach because I could go out in Delray Beach. Like I met people there, I met people here, I could go out here. Like I can't go out alone in like Miami. You can't go to Eleven alone. Yeah, I did go to Eleven alone like a month yeah. ago. I went How to Eleven alone, and I was it was so intimidating. It was so scary. Thank God, me and Caleb know one of the. Uh, thank the, God. The, the, I'm sorry, I'm saying thank God too much. I like Jesus. Okay, I went to Catholic high school, and uh, I know one of the direct the director of operations. He like showed me around, so mm-hmm. that was okay at least. I basically shadowed him for the night, which was yeah. pretty cool. But. That's a place you can't go alone. I can't go to a club alone. I can do a bar. I'm a little yeah. honky tonk feel. Yeah. Like whenever I'm in Scottsdale, a little rusty spur saloon. It's like the size of this bus. Yeah. There I can go out alone. But Miami, that's not a place. You can and go Caleb alone. likes to be in his hotel room he likes and then to just chill, golf. golf. Yeah. He's just obsessed with golf. All he does is golf. You think he's gonna be a pro? Yeah. I, I think so too. I do. I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.